The Bureau of Labor Statistics reports that one-third of all job openings and nearly half of all new jobs created between 2008 and 2018 will require a post-secondary degree or credential. Credential? How can someone who dropped out of school due to family or financial reasons get a post-secondary degree or credential without going back to college? College requires investing time and a lot of money. That's not easy when someone has to work 24-7 just to pay for basic needs. Furthermore, how can somebody go to college when language is a limitation? In 2011, there were 25 million limited English proficient individuals, both foreign-born and U.S.-born, residing in the United States. How can this population get the post-secondary certificate needed to get a job or to improve the one they already have? Well, it seems that President Obama is offering a solution. The federal government is investing $100 million to train and connect more workers to good jobs in technology and other in-demand fields. Why technology? The technology industry is growing fast and demands highly qualified people. Currently, there are over a half a million technology positions to be filled. However, there are not enough people to fill them due to lack of skills in this sector. Therefore, Obama kicked off the Tech Hire Initiative. 20 regions are participating with over 120,000 open technology jobs and more than 300 employer partners in need of a well-trained workforce. The plan is to implement new ways to recruit and place applicants by creating more fast-track tech training opportunities. Universities, colleges, non-traditional approaches like coding boot camps, and high-quality online courses such as MOOCs are participating in the Tech Hire Initiative. Private sector leaders are announcing commitments to provide free training through online training slots and expanding coding boot camps which provide intensive training for well-paying jobs in the course of just a few months. Who will benefit? Low-income and underserved Americans, including women, minorities, veterans, and limited English proficient individuals from across the nation. That sounds great, but there's only one question. All these boot camps and online courses such as MOOCs are in English. How can Spanish-speaking LEPs benefit from Obama's Tech Hire Initiative? Out of the 25 million limited English proficient individuals residing in the United States, 16 million are Spanish-speaking LEPs. How are they going to benefit from Obama's Tech Hire Initiative? Well, what about helping them build knowledge and skills by including Spanish language and Latino cultural components to free online courses such as MOOCs? There are a variety of free programming and computer science online courses offered through different MOOC platforms. All of these MOOCs are offered in English. However, some of them have already included subtitles in Spanish. A Spanish LEP individual already has some knowledge of the English language, but not enough to feel comfortable studying alone. A programming or computer science MOOC probably has a lot of terminology that is not easy to understand even for an English native speaker. Therefore, there is a need for Spanish tutors who can explain those English concepts and create a community of learners who meet regularly to learn from the tutor and from each other. How can we include Spanish speaker tutors in a MOOC? Well, here's a possible solution. Universities, colleges, community colleges, and the IT private sector can join efforts to provide Spanish speakers, volunteer tutors who are interested in participating in this effort. Okay, but where are these volunteers going to provide their services? Right, let's structure a plan. Let's imagine that you are a Latino nonprofit organization that wants to participate in the Tech Hire Initiative. After contacting the Tech Hire Initiative and receiving all the information needed to participate, the next step is to create a Community of Practice Hub. Community of Practice Hub? Communities of Practice are groups of people who share a concern or a passion for something they do and learn how to do it better as they interact regularly. Three characteristics are crucial in order to be considered a community of practice. One, a common interest. Two, people who meet to explore such interests. And three, the knowledge and expertise shared from such interest. If your organization does not have enough room to host a community of practice, partnering with libraries, churches, or Hispanic community centers might be a good solution. 
Also, it's important to decide which MOOCs might be the best ones for the Spanish LEP community. The list is long, so try to select just a few that the tech industry needs the most and contact the MOOC providers to work in partnership with them and structure a curriculum with the MOOCs selected. The curriculum will help you define a calendar, schedules, number of Spanish speaker tutors and learners to participate in this effort. The participation of Spanish speaker tutors is important because they acknowledge students' cultural norms and expectations concerning communication and social interaction and can appropriately guide students' participation in instructional activities. All right, now we know what we need in order to teach the Spanish-speaking LEP community, but how are they going to know about these services in order to benefit from them? Hispanic TV companies such as Univision and Telemundo and the Latino consulates in the United States might join efforts with your organization to disseminate the information. Mexican consulates have a lot of experience supporting educational programs to benefit the Mexican-American community, so they might be able to help you build your own communication strategy. Also, it would be a good idea to invite people through meetup.com. Over 9,000 meetups get together daily around the world, so people are familiar with this online service. The implementation of a community of practice hub can help thousands of Spanish LEP individuals to get one of the half million jobs currently offered in the IT industry, which will help them improve socially and economically. For more information, visit the Tech Hire Initiative website and help the Spanish LEP community become part of Obama's initiative.